Hello everybody and welcome back and in last week's video we started off with the question when will God's, God's justice characteristic be delivered? We started with this question to understand this question because we wanted to understand when will this characteristic of justice take place? After all his love he delivered completely and continuously he, we understood that he finally rejects and neglects something at one specific point after he gives the guidance grace and knowledge and support to one and if they still do not use this they will be rejected at one point but we, we want to know the question is that when will god's justice take place though of his judgment so once God's rejected their life, their life will almost, least, like we said, will be miserable, you know. They end up in the worst of their habits and their life will finish with destruction. We also, we saw the biblical, biblical example of one of the people, which is Judas Iscariot, one of God, one of God, the disciples who got rejected by God's calling and grace willfully and finishes his life as a betrayer. Today we're going to see another example from the Old Testament about King Saul who had the same kind of approach in this situation. So he was a blessed, he was blessed by God of course and chosen as a king for Israelites we see. So Paul, Saul sorry, was chosen as the king for Israelites through Samuel the prophet we see. So the time, this was the time where there were prophets in the land of Israel and that through the prophet of Samuel um, Saul has become the king and was blessed by God. God guiding him, guided him all his way. Initially, he was so humble, we see, and expressed his feeling about himself to Samuel, the prophet. And we can see how he explained this to Samuel. We see in 1 Samuel 9, chapter 21st verse, where we see how his, he explains to Samuel, the prophet, when he is selected by God. So he says in this verse that... Saul answered, but I am not a Benjaminite from the smallest, but am I not a Benjaminite from the smallest tribe of Israel? And is not my clan the least of the, all the clans of the tribe of Benjamin? I mean, why do you say such a thing to me? So what does it here? What does it say to here? Here, what does it try to convey us to us here? We see by once the by he gained he's gained the grace and blessing. He started to disobey though after this point. So we see as being a humble person, we see even when he's given the opportunity to be the king, he doesn't act in this fleshly way straight away. He still has that humble nature. But once he gave this, his attitude started to change, and especially towards God, he started to. Dis he disobeyed God three times, which is recorded in the Bible. This is recorded in 1 Samuel 13th chapter. Due to the situation around him, he became, he panicked around what was going on, going on. And he took this decision to burn an offering and peace offering to God by himself, which is God's law. In God's law, it has to be done by the priest from the Levite tribe, which is Samuel. But because uh, we see... He had no patience in this situation. He did it himself, we see. And all God's laws we see are good for us. And we should obey the laws to show our love to him at all times, completely. And we can read the verse where it says in Psalm 19, chapter, very clearly about what it says. So we can read Psalm 19, chapter, where it talks about this. And we can see in Psalm 19, chapter 7, 8, and 9. So let's read that now. Psalm 19, chapter... 7, 8, and 9, it says, The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul, soul, sorry, soul, the state, sta st statues of the Lord are, statuses of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple, the precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart, and commandments of the Lord are radiant, it says. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm. So, we see here, but Saul, who is appointed and appointed by God, disobeyed because of the reasons we saw. Samuel the prophet was delayed to come, we understand, in this situation. The, and the Philistine army, who they were going to war against, before they were, when they were about to attack against them, he acted on the point according to his flesh and not in a spiritual way and be calm and patient in the situation. Rather, he acted on his instincts and he did the, he did the sacrifice himself. And 
then God gave a clear answer to Saul for his actions through Samuel the prophet, which we can read now for what he has done. So we see that in Samuel 1st chapter 13th verse, 13th chapter 13th verse, it says about this, and it says, You have done a foolish thing, Samuel said. You have kept this command and the command the Lord gave you, the Lord your God gave you. If you had if you had, he would have established your kingdom over Israel for all the time. So we see here, even after this complete disappointment that Saul had gained from his fleshly desires and instincts to wanting to go into war and unable to panic in the situation, we see how he has acted in an unconventional way towards what God's rules and laws apply to. So we'll see about how he doesn't realise this and fails once again. And let and we can see what how this happens in next week's video, which is in First Samuel 15th chapter. We'll read more about. So see you then. Bye.